Hi Dr. Glasser. Fancy meeting you here. It's been a long time. Hi Stephanie. I haven't seen you since I spoke at the Alternative Education Conference in 2002. How are you? I am doing very well. I am still teaching high school. And I have just recently created an online choice theory course for teenagers. I've always remembered what you said about prevention being key to changing things for the better. That's excellent. We have to remember to get the knowledge to the students. If only more schools would do the same. I agree. That is why my course is online. And free. Any student, anywhere, can take the course and learn about choice theory. Have you included information on the five genetic needs? I have. That's great. Understanding our genetic needs is so important to our happiness. I also included a unit on quality world. And one about total behavior. You've got it. That's excellent. What about the perceptual system? Did you mention that? We cannot forget about the importance of how the information we receive from the real world is filtered. First through the total knowledge filter and then our valuing filter. All at warp speed. The power of perception is incredible. That is so true. How you and I perceive this very moment could be quite different depending on our senses and our individual past experiences. That's excellent. Very good application. So what else do you have the teenagers learning about choice theory? I've also included a brief history of psychology. I think it is important for students to have a working knowledge of psychological theories before we begin. Interesting. It is important to know where we have come from to know where we went wrong. Choice theory offers a new psychology. A psychology based on choice. One that is easy to understand. And easy to use once we understand it. More importantly it must help people understand that we are much more in control of ourselves than we think. And if we can learn to make more effective choices we can be happy. Choice theory does all of that. And more. It is an internal psychology. Free from the deadly habits common with external control psychology. Many of my relationships suffered before I discovered choice theory. I grew up on external control psychology. So I thought it was my only option. Replacing blame, guilt, coercion, and control with care, negotiation, respect, and consideration has led to much more pleasurable relationships. I'm happy. Very good. We must always ask ourselves, will what I am about to do bring me closer to these people or move us further apart? Before the bus comes could you run through the 10 axioms of choice theory? I want to make sure I remember them all. Of course. The first is easy, and so important. The only person we can control is ourself. If we could all let go of the seven deadly habits of external control we would be happier. Focusing on making better choices for ourselves instead of trying to control or coerce. Axiom 2 says, all we can give or receive is information. That's it. What we choose to do with the information we are given is up to us. Like right now. I am getting information that says that the bus is not on time. I could choose to get angry, but I am glad it has not come. It's given me a chance to chat with you. The third axiom states that the vast majority of human problems are relationship problems. Number four states that all behaviors are total behaviors. Remember, that includes acting, thinking, feeling, and our physiology. I find the analogy of the total behavior car with each wheel representing each component of our total behavior really useful in helping students to understand this idea. Number five states that the problem relationship is always part of our present lives. I've got this one. Axiom 6 says that what happened in the past is always part of us in the present, but we shouldn't focus on it in the now. That's right. Many people believe that to help someone move forward we have to go through their entire past. Choice theory and reality therapy do not support that idea. Many of my students say they don't want to see a counselor because counselors want to spend so much time talking about their past. They don't want to tell their story again. Kids want to get help in the now. They want to move forward and they want to be happy. In my experience choice theory makes a lot of sense to teenagers. It's empowering. 
Axiom 7 states that all we can do is behave. Along the lines of Axiom 7, Axiom 8 says that all our behaviors are purposeful. Exactly. All our behaviors are based on the desire to satisfy the pictures we have in our quality world. Axiom 9 says that we are driven by our five genetic needs. Survival. Love and belonging. Personal power. Freedom. And fun. That's right. And our needs are the engine that drives our total behavior car. The last axiom states that when we speak of behaviors we must do so in an active and present tense. We must acknowledge that we have control over our behaviors. This axiom is harder for people to understand. I know I had a hard time at first saying that I choose to depress rather than saying that I am simply depressed. But putting verbs into the active tense makes us aware of the direct control we have over our actions and thoughts. And, we cannot forget that even our feelings and physiology are controlled by our actions and thinking, which we have almost 100% control over. Well, I don't know about you, but I am going to choose to walk. This bus may never come. Me too. I am going to walk and think some more about the power of choice theory and how learning to make better choices has made all the difference in my life. That sounds great. Why don't you tell everyone where they can find your choice theory course in case they want to share it with their students? Good idea, Dr. Glasser. You can find the course at choicetheory101.wikispaces.com.